what do you know about this huge Central African country? A country known as Zaire for more than a quarter of a century. Ruled by Mobutu Sese Seko from 1965 until his overthrow in 1997 when rebels were able to expel him from the country. He died of prostate cancer later that year. In his time, Mobutu established an authoritarian one-party state, basically exploiting the country, abusing human rights, amassing a huge personal fortune. Yeah. There's a history of European imperialism, colonialism, in this area of Africa, as elsewhere. Brutal accounts of limbs being cut off natives to enforce rubber quotas. Yeah. What was the so-called Congo Free State became the Belgian Congo in 1908. Achieving independence in 1960 a series of political crises followed, eventually with the support of Belgium and the USA. Mobutu took power in a coup. Why did the US support this guy? Well, he was very much an anti-communist. I suppose the American administration of the day felt that he would serve their interests in the region. After the Cold War, the Americans were not much interested in Zaire, as it was known. Then in 1996, there was a Rwandan-Ugandan coalition invasion, which sort of acted as a shot in the arm for rebels who took the capital, Kinshasa, by May of 1997. Lauren Kabila was made president and this country was renamed the Democratic Republic of Congo but a new rebellion emerged quickly supported by Rwanda and Uganda whereas Zimbabwe, Namibia and Angola sided with the president and a hideous war ensued. Millions of people died in what is known as Africa's World War between the years of 1998 and 2003. Lauren Kibila was allied with Rwandan troops and allied with Uganda for the overthrow of Mobutu, but later they turned against him. Lauren Kabila was assassinated and succeeded by his son, Joseph. The UN got involved, peace talks occurred, a peace accord was agreed, a power share. All foreign armies had pulled out by June of 2003 except Rwandan troops. A transitional government was set up, a voter approved constitution was put in place and in 2006 multi-party elections were held. The result was disputed and battles on the streets of the capital took place. A fresh election resulted in Joseph Kabila becoming president. But later there is an army defection led by Lauren and Kunda. Rwanda gets involved again. Another peace treaty. Reintegration into the National Army for former rebels, but then another rebellion, the M23 movement. Uh, yeah. This group declared an end to its uprising in late 2013, I believe. It's a very dangerous country. 
with numerous armed groups claiming to stand for this or that. I suppose it's difficult to know exactly what's going on in the DRC at any one time. What has been reported is, you know, in fairly recent times, widespread famine and disease, frequent and brutal sexual violence, people being internally displaced by conflict, continuing human rights violations, yeah. Apparently the east of the DRC has been labelled as the rape capital of the world. Terrible. A lot of the rapes are being committed by armed militias, armed militia groups, unsurprisingly. This is a large country. Take a look at a map sometime. Yeah. And it has a population of between 75 and 80 million. It's a lot of people. That's considerably more people than here in the UK. This is a pretty big country. I don't think we can truly or fully understand the conflicts in the DRC without a more accurate view of the ethnic tensions and hatreds that exist and have fueled violence in the past. Also, it has to be considered that this area is rich in natural mineral resources. This has to be a factor for sure in hostile foreign involvement in the area, if you know what I mean. I'm not just talking about colonial times here, I'm talking about the more recent Congolese wars, various neighbouring nations becoming involved to various degrees. Yeah. Rwandan rebels in the east of the country seems to be a continuing issue with regards to ongoing violence and instability. Joseph Kabila, still president, recently rejected a UN offer to support a military campaign against Rwandan rebels. And he has been critical of international interference in the affairs of the DRC. There's a lot more going on in this country, this vast country, than I've outlined here, for sure. Monusco, or Monuk, is still active. This is the UN peacekeeping force in the DRC, established by Security Council resolutions in 1999 and 2000, I believe. I don't know what lies in the future for this country. It's volatile, it's dangerous. I certainly wouldn't want to go there myself. It has a history of war and corruption. Yeah, it's very unpredictable. How can this region find a lasting peace and stability, I ask? I don't have the answer. <laughs>